Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the adjacency matrix of a graph. If you need a reminder about what a graph is, then I recommend you go check out my video on graphs. Suppose we have the following cycle graph. Notice that these two vertices are connected by an edge. We say, by definition, that they are adjacent. More rigorously, we say that if G is a graph, and V1 and V2 are a part of the vertex set, then V1 and V2 are adjacent if the tuple V1, V2 is an element of the edge set. Using this new concept, we plan to create a matrix. Specifically, each dash that you see in the matrix right now is going to turn into a 0 or a 1. To help us, what we want to do is label the rows and the columns using the vertex labels defined. And now in each entry, we're going to put a 0 if the two vertices are not adjacent, and a 1 if they are. So if we start out with the very first entry, then we ask the question, is V1 adjacent to itself? The answer is no, because we don't have any self loops, so we input a 0. I mean, like I said, we don't have any self loops, and this means that no vertex is adjacent to itself, so this entire main diagonal is going to be zeros. Let's just put that in right away. But of course, there are edges in this graph, so there will be ones sprinkled throughout our matrix. Let's start by filling out this first row. The next spot in that row that we would need to fill begs the question, if V1 is adjacent to V2. And of course, when we look at our graph, there is an edge between V1 and V2, so we're going to put a 1 in this entry. Now when we fill the next entry, we're going to ask the question if V1 is adjacent to V3, and of course, there is no edge between V1 and V3, so we're going to put a 0 in this entry. I hope at this point you're starting to get the idea. Instead of walking you through the rest of the matrix, I'm just going to fill it out. Feel free to check through my work to test your understanding of this concept. One thing you might immediately notice about the matrix is that it is symmetric along the main diagonal. Now instead of describing why that is the case, I'll let you think about it and you can feel free to post your answer in the comments. Now that we have a good idea of how to construct the adjacency matrix, I'm going to give you the rigorous definition. If G is a graph, and V is specifically the vertex set which is the integers 1 through n, then the adjacency matrix of G is the n by n matrix where the ijth entry is 1 if the tuple ij is an element of the edge set, and it is 0 otherwise. Now, the interesting thing about this is that if a graph has a specified vertex labeling, then there is a unique adjacency matrix for that graph. This is specifically going to be helpful when we're trying to put a graph into a computer. All we need to do is input this two-dimensional array into the computer and it'll know exactly what we're talking about. If you want to know of another way to put a graph into a computer, you should look up the incidence matrix. But if you're content using the adjacency matrix, then feel free to move forward however you wish. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.